North Carolina Pepper here. I want to talk to you about Geiger counters and dosimeters and etc. Not everybody has reliable gear. A lot of people buy it off eBay and it's not calibrated or it's complete crap and you'll never know. You shouldn't be sitting there thinking, oh, everything's good and your family dying around your radiation and not even knowing it. Well, today we're going to make a Kearney fallout meter out of the Nuclear War Survival Skills Book. This is everything you'll need to make it right there. It's very simple, very easy. The benefit of this is it never gets out of calibration and never needs to be calibrated. It's math. It's guaranteed to always be right. So let's go ahead and make that, shall we? Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut off the patterns I need. This is the scale that goes around the can. Cut that out. Yeah. And as you can see, this is the one that goes around the can that'll wrap around our actual can. So let's go ahead and put that on, shall we? my tape out. Ready? Okay. Okay. the can. These are the holes that you need to poke out for the strings that go through there. So what I'll do is I'm going to take this uh, thumbtack and go ahead and push a uh, hole through here. Hold on a second. You can't see those, but there's a hole there. <clears throat> now, the second thing we're going to do before we're going farther is we're going to go ahead and file this. There are marks where you need to be filed. Now, what these are, this is where the uh, string will actually hang in there, so this has to be a good cut. Maybe zoom in, but I don't know if you can see that or not. Is that show? Okay, so one on each side. Now then. We need to cut out the pattern for the foil leaves next. Now this will work on Earth, so it wouldn't work anywhere else. It's based on gravity. On the Earth's gravity, and discharge rates, etc. So this wouldn't work on the moon, or wouldn't work in orbit, or anything like that. fold the aluminum foil eight times. Um, if we were using heavy aluminum foil, we'd do a five times fold, but for right now we're using regular aluminum foil, and we're going to do it eight, eight folds. Oops. We're going to go low here. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop that. Stop it. Okay. 
we're going to make the leaf. You got to fold it three times to make it eight ply. So let's go ahead and fold it. There's one. Shiny side and stuff doesn't matter at all. One. Two. Three. This gives us an eight ply sheet. Which the reason being eight ply is it deals with weight. So let's go ahead and tape our cut pattern now. This has to be precise when we cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and put two pieces of tape on here. <clears throat> Okay. See how it came out exactly. This is the right length and right height for it. So you need to repeat this twice. Go ahead and pause. Okay. Now we're going to put the thread through. What we're going to do, first let me show you what I'm using for my side stoppers. Okay. Zoom in on that. I'm point zero zero four um, machine quilting thread. This is a nylon single fiber uh, nylon, single thread nylon, not braided. We're going to use that to thread the, the fins and the, uh, the stops on the side that it'll swing into. Okay, but before that, this stuff is extremely thin, almost hair like. I'll probably edit out the cutting on it. Um, but I'm going to use the needle threader. And what I'm going to do, zoom in here. I'm going to go in like this. And push that through so I can thread that. Can you see that in the camera? Mm -hmm. Alright, so. Let me go ahead and thread this up off camera because it'll take too long to do it with me on camera. So let's go ahead and pause that real quick. Okay, it's going, we're rolling. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the strings are in fact in there. <clears throat> now, what we need to do is we need a little toggle to uh, tighten these strings up and put some torque on them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a q tip because I couldn't find any toothpicks and everybody has q tips in their medical kit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over here. Nope, that's pencil. Let's see. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to stick it under there. Maybe. Okay, there it is. It's on there. We're going to do a few twists. It's already pretty tight anyway, but this will take up the slack if need be. So, there we go. That will take up any slack. So we're going to go ahead and tape over that. We also need to put tape on these holes. Just to make sure. Let me straighten that out. There we go. We need to make this not so much airtight as, um, as well as, um, or as, um, so the moisture doesn't get back in once we put the, the dust gun in there. Okay, so that's really tight in there now. Now we're going to go ahead and add some dust skin to it before we put the fins in. And this is just the cat litter from the other videos. It's silica gel. I'm going to go ahead and get that in. I'm just going to kind of cover the bottom a little bit. A little more. 
Um, in a real situation, I just punch a hole in the wall and get drywall out and uh, do it that way. Now, here comes the fun part. In this part, I'm going to wear uh, gloves because I don't want to contaminate the string. And when I pull it off, there, I didn't contaminate it. So, I want to make sure I don't get any human oils on this string, at least on the one inch part. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these on. that on. I'm going to take this pattern here and show us what to see what we need to do. We need to take and stretch the string across there and tape it. Right. Now we're going to take this, and we're going to take the foil, and even though you can't see it, I'm going to lift that up under and set the foil under there. Let's see if I can actually move this over so you can see it. Is that in focus? Yes. I'm going to pull down a little bit because I want the thread in the active corners on this. A little piece of tape. Not much, but a little. Just enough to hold it. Uh, Kermit says in the book to use band-aids. And we could do that, but I'm not going to. So there's that. That leaf is now done. Now what we need to do is hang that thing right in the center here. And we're going to have the foil, the fold, outward towards the side of the can. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let me get that off. Oh yeah, I need to cut it free, I guess. Can always worry about extra string later. Just can't touch it. Isn't it amazing how string sticks to uh, gloves? What about now? We're done with that part. The gloves were actually a rather bad idea. We can't touch it within an inch of the, the container. Okay. So that one's done. And then I can see the wire actually stopping it there from going on too far. So let's go ahead and repeat that with the other one. Go and stop and I'll do that. Okay, so there's the, the, the meter done, or the, the part of it done, the foil leaves are put in there. Now all you need to do 
is cut out your scale and cut out your, your top, but I'm going to do that a little bit different because what's written on here isn't necessarily that important. Um, got to go ahead and cut this. Any plastic will work as long as you can see through it. If you can cut it. Okay. So what we need to do is put this on here like that and rubber band it tight. Don't knock those things out of the grooves when you do it. This is two ply plastic. Okay. We're going to go ahead and cut that off. Get that out of the way. Trash pile. Pull it back down to make sure it's tight. In fact, tighten it in this case. Now, we're going to take our scale here and cut it out. Uh, one way you can check to make sure this is right, again, is just um, make sure it is a millimeter scale. Let's go ahead and cut this out now. The cutting of this doesn't have to be very accurate because you, you could use a ruler. One thing nice about these is you can set them outside and set an angled mirror up and actually see it. Okay, let me pull this back here. Let me pull out. Come out. You want to set that on your zero lines there. Make sure it's a line zero. Like that. Now, what I've done to charge this is I've deviated a little bit from the original Kearney plan with the extra wire. So what I did is I took a coated paper clip and strip the ends off it. Then you want this about three centimeters above your foil plates. So let me look at this way. About a half inch from the edge of the can. So I'll let that poke a hole through there like that. As you can see. And I don't know if it's dry enough right now to charge this up, but let's see. And we'll do another video on how to use it. It doesn't appear to have any static right now in the air. Yeah, I'll have to charge you up another video. Try to take a mess of the guts. Nope.